Rainbow Village was constructed by Ed Helsman Group Holdings, a company owned by Chinese businesswoman Stina Hu. It is meant to serve as affordable housing for Rundu residents. However, soon after the new homeowners received their house keys, they started experiencing unusual flooding. This flood is not the natural flood, but it's the flood for the sewer, the sewage system of Rainbow. The whole sewage system of Rainbow is coming to this septic tank which is next to me, but now that one is flooded, now it's overflowing in my yard. As you can see, my yard now is full of water, of dirty water, which is not healthy, which is not unhygienic. Candela says the flooding occurs annually since he bought the house five years ago and exposes his family to waterborne diseases. Another affected resident of Rainbow Village, Charmaine Dumba, says her main complaint is wastewater being discharged back into her house sewage system. I'm experiencing um, a disturbing problem, like um, in, the, in the toilet, like when you're flushing. Instead of the water uh, going down, it's rising up. The water that's coming from the, the sewage, dirty water, it rises up and then it's very disturbing. The affected residents are calling on relevant authorities to address the problem once and for all. Meanwhile, the Rundu Town Council has distanced itself from the issues which the Rainbow Village residents are facing. The town's chief executive officer, Olavina Tanel, told NBC News that Rainbow Village is not yet in the town council's assets register and its residents need to channel all their problems to the property developer. He said the sewage pump is just the tip of the iceberg as the property developer failed to meet several requirements before the village is to be handed over to the town council. The construction work of Rainbow Village was completed in 2013 and was supposed to be handed over to the town council thereafter. We gave them specific, uh, it says, we call it what, a snag list uh, to, 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 to say, um, you build with uh, bricks, but our standard says concrete. We have to change that. But they have not done it. So we are not going to take over something which is not coming to our standards. Uh, and, and, but then we are we, we really hoping that uh, after our meeting we had, um, they will now um, um, be able to, 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 to take these items off and then finally just hand it over to us so we can resume uh, the responsibility of maintaining uh, these issues. Conducted for comment, Chris Volo, managing partner at Hansman Group, had this to say. There are still issues now, until today. The town council just does not want to, to, to take responsibility, to take ownership for what it's supposed to do in terms of the law, because it's obliged by law to perform some of these functions. Now we have been paying the maintenance, we have been paying for the, for the electricity because it's not red all these years. Now imagine, we don't receive any money for rates and taxes, for sewerage charges, for water charges. Everything has been going to the town council and it's still going to the town council. Is it now really fair for us, really, as a developer, just because we are the ones who developed Rundu Rainbow Village, just because it's us. Now, is it really fair for us to really uh, 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 be held at uh, gunpoint, so to say? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but I believe that there is, uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel because uh, the new CEO seems to appreciate the situation in its entirety. And we are busy with negotiations. We will soon have a meeting with the new CEO and other stakeholders of the town council as well so that we can, we can iron out the situation.